What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. Guys, I've been doing some things around the base here. Mm -hmm. Yep, so last episode we saw that Jevin redid the interior here, right? And then we had a wall over here, which was kind of blocking off an area that was unfinished. Uh, yeah, since then I have actually kind of uh, finished it a little bit. <laughs> So yes, I've taken inspiration for the rest of the from the rest of the the build over here. Kind of brought that over into this area, incorporating a little of the uh, the suggestion that Wells had given us previously, with adding some greenery in here, adding a little bit of uh, some bushes and planters. Uh, but yeah, I think overall this is keeping with the theme and looking pretty on par with what we had going on. You, oh, <laughs> I was gonna. Poke that uh, using a pot here just kind of as a different decorative item just for a little bit of variance around uh, I was using extra barrels, but starting to spam too many of them around so I kind of wanted to throw some variance in there uh, So yeah, we come over here. You'll notice that we actually have a staircase. Oh, huh, where does that go? <laughs> but anyway uh, in this room kind of want to separate this out from this other room this room actually has no purpose right now I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but yeah, we needed a place for stairs, and the stairs kind of went over here, and then we ended up with this extra space, and I was like, oh, what do we do, what do we do? So yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm actually gonna put in here. Maybe I can throw some armor stands, maybe like a little decorative thing in the center, like a seating area. I don't know, I'll have to figure that out over time. But anyway, this room right here, it has that staircase like I was talking about, kind of decorated the walls. A little bit so like as you're coming in here to go up the stairs you don't see like a big white wall using uh, some trap doors as like a little bench kind of a thing hanging some lanterns here is a little different variety uh, with that and then back around just kind of blah because you're not really seeing this wall as you go up the stairs you're kind of seeing these pink trap doors right but they could probably have some paintings or something back here again still work in progress but yeah we come up the stairs and Check it out, we actually have windows up here. You guys haven't seen, I don't think really, the upstairs of this base at all. Yeah, pretty much we had the first level before and then it was all ceiling, or the, the roof, the inside of the, the roof up there. Uh, but yeah, we actually have walls here. We have windows going on, which is quite nice. Uh, I did move my nether portal up here so we can try and avoid linking with the mail system and uh, while it was being renovated the downstairs. I had the portal outside and it just it was in a very bad spot So I moved it up here temporarily uh, I do need to add in walls and decorate all of this stuff up here. Obviously that has not been done, but it is a Well an, an outfitted second floor now, but yeah, we got a great view here of like uh, my lava thing my my dirt villager trading walls this castle over there the big old hourglass. So yeah, this is quite nice. I like it Outside, you can see we have these domer windows going on out here. This is just extending the upstairs portion into the roof a bit, adding a secondary roof on top, right? That way we have those windows and it looks pretty good. Kind of breaks up the more solid portions of the roof. Over on this section, you can see we have two of those, one uh, facing this direction and one towards Wells' place. Uh, on the front of the house though, there wasn't really room to do it on this side just because of the layout, um, but there is one, we were just looking out of it, right above this cherry tree, you can't really see it from here, but uh, actually if I guess I go into free cam, there it is, yep, so we got one here, we got one here, and then we got one here, so we kind of got three of them on this end of the house, which almost feels like a bit much, but it kind of made sense upstairs at the time, and it breaks up the roof a little bit. And speaking about the roof, I did, after adding these in, kind of level off the top of the roof. I've seen a lot of comments about it, that the roof is too tall and yada yada. So, <laughs> yeah, I figured since I was up here messing with it anyway, I would just kind of like lop it off. We took like three, four, five layers off the top. Uh, so it doesn't come to a peak anymore. Got a little bit of a flat top going on, which is actually the same level as the, the flat top at the top of the iron farm right here right so all in all i'm pretty pleased with the way the the roof is looking and the the inside of the house and the second story again we gotta get walls in there and furnish it and then we still gotta work on the details around the house um we might end up messing with something with these blocks like trying to add in some other variances but i definitely want to get some other things over here so we don't have like these big flat blank white walls uh that'll be in the future 
Uh, other things that I've done around the base, you see this hole right here? What is this? Oh. Oh, there's some redstone down here. Yeah, so around the base here, I've been working on some things. We got ourselves a bamboo farm. So this is pretty cool. Uh, we have observers on pistons. The pistons uh, push the bamboo. The bamboo falls on the ground. Then we got hopper mine carts that go underneath zip back and forth around collect all the things bounce back and then drop them off right here so this is uh four layers of like this modular design that i just kind of came up with on stream uh nothing super fancy here it does use a lot of these observers though and observers really are pretty lag friendly they're kind of like spamming a bunch of pressure plates around right the pressure plates don't do anything unless something happens like you step on them same thing with the observers. They don't really do anything unless there's a blocked update in front of them. Uh, anyway, so uh, we got a lot of storage. All the items kind of fall through. The upper levels fall through these powdered snow. They all get collected into this water stream here. That all, oh, they, they go into my hand apparently. Uh, they go up this water stream here and then they get collected up at the top, filter down. And yeah, here we go. We got quite a bit in this box. And then down here, this one is completely full. So the reason why I made this farm is because we need an awful lot of wood, guys. Like, so much wood. I talked to you guys before about our storage system that's underneath our base, right? The downstairs. Right now, it is a manual system. But I want to turn it into an automatic sorting system. In order to do that, each one of the, the double chests that we have down there needs a hopper on it. And then uh, that's not really the big part. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of other chests that need to be added in there. And then there's all the hopper mine carts that grab items and move them all around. So yes, there's just so many, so many hoppers that go into this and each hopper requires a full chest, which means it's a full log and all of this kind of stuff. So yeah, that is kind of the game plan that I set that up so we could have a passive income of wood coming into the base so we can turn them into chests and turn or yeah turn them into chests turn those chests into hoppers or into hopper mine carts or whatever so that is the current overall plan right now with our storage room all right so since that was just a fast overview of what's going on with our bamboo farm i'm just going to show you real quick out here just one little section of how this works so each piece of bamboo has one of these sections here so a piece of glowstone right where the bamboo is growing pretend that's bamboo then we have the piston, then we have an observer that's facing downwards. So the redstone is facing into this piston, and this observer is looking at this observer. So when the bamboo grows up to this height, I'll place a torch here to simulate, it extends this piston. But what actually happens is uh, it grows up to this height, and then it gets broken, so this piston will extend twice like that every single time that the bamboo grows. So yeah, that's what happens. The bamboo falls down onto the two blocks of dirt down below, and then the hopper minecart comes through and collects it all. So we're not gonna set up a shop today, but as you guys know, I do have the cobble permit, which means I can sell cobblestone and cobblestone related things, which at first doesn't really seem like it's that important, but like, if you think about all the redstone components out there, they all use cobblestone, right? So there's a definitely a market for this particular permit. Um, so with that in mind, Joe's been digging out at his area, which is huge. Like he's been doing a lot of digging, a lot of terraforming out there, removal of mountains and things like that. And he has told me on a few occasions that he has a lot of cobblestone. I should come pick it up. So I went over and I said hello to Joe. Uh, he showed me where all he was keeping his cobblestone. He also told me that I don't have to pay for it, that me just removing it is payment enough. So uh, yeah, let's go check out that clip. So you've been doing a lot so, of digging out here, I hear. Yeah, quite a bit. Uh, part of this project is it's got different levels of intellectual and imaginative intensity to it. Okay. Like there's... There's some parts where I'm going to have to get really thoughtful and creative about, like, what I want to make. And then there's other parts where it's like, and then, you know, let's get rid of that mountain in particular. You know, not this one. We're keeping this one. It's gorgeous. Yeah, that's but, a nice uh, looking mountain there. Yeah, that's going to be the view from the stuff we're building. Uh, but basically, since I've been sick the last week, I've been getting as many hours as I can just terraforming over here, ripping out the mountains where the stuff needs to go in okay. the future. 
So if you come over here to this fantastic beacon base, which is occluded largely by chests, there are all the materials you could possibly need. I have not sorted these, but like you're the cobble guy, right? You right. The cobble. Yep. Uh, yeah. So please help yourself to all the cobble. I've told the folks who have gravel and stone and dirt, you know, they can come grab whatever is theirs. Okay. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't have mind to drop in it all for you, but I don't have any shulkers yet, yeah. so it's just kind of easier for me to leave it all here for the time being. Yeah, I was running out of shulkers myself. I went and I got some more shells earlier, so I have a few more today, but uh, yeah, they, they go quick, even when I do have them. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah, this uh, goes all the way around the whole thing. This is, this is just a <laughs> chest beacon here. Okay, yeah, I see. So me taking yeah. this cobble will actually free up extra space for you too, so I'm actually doing you a favor. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm not charging you for this because you're right. helping me out by hauling it off. I, you know, in theory, I could just let it despawn, but that doesn't feel like great at this stage of the game. <laughs> yeah, know? definitely not. Materials. Yeah, exactly. Right on, dude. So, like, this is a awesome. pretty big area. I see you've been putting in some work here. I know you've been doing a lot of digging and stuff, obviously, with the chess. Uh, any sort mm -hmm. of a tour or... Well, you know, it's funny. The nether is actually the better place to do ah, the tour. Right. Because you can look down at the whole thing from there. Okay. Uh, like, I, basically, the same layout that you saw when you flew in in the nether mm -hmm. is one-eighth of the layout that we're doing here. Okay. it's not going to be in, like, wool and stuff. That's just color coding. So there's going to be a ring of... Um, like 14 islands where people can claim and build sculptures on. Right. There's going to be, uh, that ring is going to surround six areas where people can build labyrinths. Okay. And then there's going to be a museum of technology in the center where anybody who wants to build like a Minecraft museum exhibit about like a real world technology could do that. I'm guessing that's going to be the least popular thing. That's probably going to be full <laughs> of my stuff. Whereas the sculpture islands are completely unthemed. Somebody can just say, hey, this one has a sign that says unclaimed. I'm going to start building random stuff here, you know? Well, that sounds pretty neat, actually. Yeah. So hopefully I'll have more to show you next time you come by. I'm hoping to have things, like, open for people to start claiming islands and building stuff in a few months. Uh, okay. It's just kind of one of those things where, like, right now everybody's kind of free-forming it anyway at the beginning of the season. Yeah. But once they start kind of being like, well, my base is themed like this, but I want to build this other thing that doesn't make sense there. This is a place where they could just come out here and build something different, you know? Yeah, that sounds really cool. All right, well, I'm going to rummage through your chest here and uh, snag all that cobblestone then. Sounds great. I got to go get my tools fixed because uh, it's been a lot of digging. Yeah, anyway, I have a imagine. great night, Hip. All right, we'll see you later. So with Joe's contribution, if we take a look in here, you can see we have quite a bit of cobble in our shulker boxes here, which is super awesome. I think I had personally dug out like... Mm, eight or nine of these shulkers full of cobble when I was doing the slime farm. But yeah, with Joe's contribution here, all the extra cobble that I ended up taking from his area, yeah, we got a whole lot. So that's quite a bit to get us started on like the cobblestone shop front. However, when that stock is out, I don't have a way to replenish it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to need to set up like an automated cobblestone explodey thingy farm super cool of of awesomeness uh at some point in the future i haven't even looked at how to do that i'm sure it's very simple so uh I, that's not the part that i'm worried about what i am worried about though is actually the design of the shop that i'm going to set up i don't want to just put down a barrel with a sign on and be like cobble that's boring i want to have like a cool shop uh, maybe we'll end up combining things or actually we'll have to remember how the permit system works because we have the cobble But we also have coarse dirt. I was thinking maybe I combine those since they're earthy But I think each each permit has to be its own shop. So maybe I can't do that hmm. We'll have to think about it. But anyway, this is why I don't want to rush into making a cobble shop right this second Good afternoon. Hip Hi. Hey good Ren afternoon. How's it going? It's going good. How you doing? Excited because we get to redstone today. That's cool. Redstoning is always a lot of fun. Yep. Yep. We've been talking off camera. We figured that we both need uh, a bartering farm. I need obsidian for my beacons. Yep. And you need... I need all of the obsidian. All of it. <laughs> Literally all, all of the obsidian. Yep. <laughs> so it seems kind of pointless that we both build like a, a piglin bartering farm separately. That's kind of stupid. Right. So we, you know, we've been deciding we should just do it together. I think this is a great plan. Going in, 
with the the gold farm and then the bartering farm. Oh wait, there's oh there's two bits, right? Yeah. We need to make the gold. Right. And then we use the gold to barter for the obsidian. Okay, so there's actually two farms we got to make. There's two farms. It's a lot of work uh -huh. for just one person, but if you get more more people in there, it goes yep. a lot faster. That's true. That's true. Okay. Well, you've you've done a lot of the hard work already. You've <laughs> collected like most of the resources for the gold farm yep. already, mm -hmm. right? I have. Yeah, okay. it's a lot of different stuff in here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I feel a little bit bad that I haven't contributed to this, so <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, you can help contribute to, like, what we need for the bartering farm. So there you go. Okay. And I can help you build the gold farm today. We can do that together. True. Yes, we can definitely do that together. Um, oh, I know what I can do. Dude, I'll install a, a, a sorting system to the whole thing at the end. Oh, yeah. And, like, sort everything. Sort all the stuff coming out of it. That sounds awesome. All right. All right. All right. All right. We've got a plan. We've got a plan. So now we just got to figure out where we're actually going to build this thing, though. Yeah, well, we got to get into the nether first, right? True. Do you have a portal? <laughs> I do. It's actually in the house upstairs. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was following Why you. Did we come I didn't outside? know. I don't know. <laughs> I thought I had a plan. We're currently not allowed to sleep. I, I tried to get in a bed and I got a very angry message from the, the dark. So, no sleeping. No sleeping. Danger zone only. So, the upstairs Ooh, is, see, is a little unfinished. A so, uh, it's, it's a work in progress. <laughs> yes. <laughs> literally, literally no, just built this like hours ago, but it's fine. Nice. Can I have a little bedroom? I'd like this bedroom looking over Wells' castle. It's quite nice. You here. want a little bedroom? Yeah, we could probably yeah, hook a you cozy up. Little, yeah, cozy little like nookie over here, you know? The rain <laughs> nookie. There we go. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so we got to find a spot to build a gold farm. You've got the plans. I don't really... I've never built one of these things before. Yeah. So... Yeah, they're Explain. they're not what that we, difficult. How, how it's a, this thing work? It's a it's a lot of block placing. Basically, you go into another waste, you place down okay. magma blocks. The only thing that will spawn on them is the zombie pigmen, and then we use turtle eggs to lure them off the blocks and fall onto hoppers, and we collect all the all their juice. It's good. Oh, easy peasy. Yeah, yeah. But I guess the biome is really important, though, right? Like it must be nether waste. Yeah, it has to be the nether waste, not the red or the blue yeah. or the basalt or whatever. Oh, and this is nether waste, actually, right? Because, yeah, red sky. Oh, I believe you're right, yeah. I think nether waste is red sky. Hold on, let me... Wow, this is a huge nether waste. You're just massive. Oh, yeah, and then it goes into warp forest over oh, here. Oh, yeah, we don't want this biome, that's for sure. Okay, okay, so... What about out here somewhere? Out here probably would be okay. Shall we set up like a little workstation out here? Yeah, this let's is, do it. This is what I can contribute. I've got some scaffolding. Oh, great. Um, also got, I've got some of these, but these, this is for later. This is for later. I didn't I see what those were. I'll be you up with some, uh, oh. some beacon action. Oh. As a, as a redstone partner. That's going to be some good stuff right action. there. Yep. Right, what do you got? Got all the, all the goods. Oh, I should probably drop off all the stuff so you have access to them. So there's some turtle eggs, some hoppers, some carpets, uh, building blocks, and then I got shulker after shulker of other stuff. Jeez, dude. Okay, you... <laughs> this is starting to make me feel really bad. <laughs> there we wow. go. Wow. You got so much stuff, dude. Wow. I mean, <laughs> I, we've been talking about this for like a week. I didn't realize that you'd actually gone and got all the goods. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been <laughs> wow. grinding. Okay, epic. This is going to be so much fun. Although, these spruce logs, this this is wrong, right? These are supposed to be something else? Uh, originally I was going to use they? birch, but like, spruce is fine. We can just turn them into trapdoors. Oh, these are going to be trapdoors? Yep. I thought you said you made all the materials. Well, I, I gathered all the raw materials. I didn't make everything. There's going to be okay. a lot of trapdoors in this build, is all I'm saying. I guess you got to kick things off making trapdoors then. I guess so. I suppose that's that's step one. All right, let's get to it. Let's do it. Let's make a farm.
Well, it only took half the day, Hypno, but it's done. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool, though. Oh my goodness, yeah, this farm is so good. It's working. It's raining bacon down here, man. It is just a Sweet. waterfall of these piglins. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have so much gold, dude. Yeah, this is epic. We're, like, we each took half, because it's basically two halves of one build. And interestingly enough, we built it pretty much at the same speed. <laughs> Both of our size, that was kind of awesome. Yeah, you were faster in some parts, and then I caught up on other parts. So yeah, that was, it was pretty interesting, yeah. honestly. You also had to explain to me how crafters work for like 20 minutes. Oh, but that's fine. It's all good. <laughs> nice. Dude, let's go see how much gold we've got. I, I think we've been up here maybe five minutes. About like, that, yeah, I'd say. Max. Maximum five minutes. Go check it out. There's going to be a lot of gold, I'm sure. Ugh. Yep. It's flying through the pigs also. So Mike, these things like turn the nuggets into ingots into blocks, right? That's how these this works. Yeah, four oh wow, here. there's four blocks in there. Nice, dude, nice, nice, nice. Four over here too, okay? So it's about four per side, so it's about... 16 uh, blocks per five blocks, minutes? 20 blocks per five minutes? 20 blocks. Oh no, 16, you're right, sorry. Four times four is 16, yes. <laughs> I thought I was mathing wrong, <laughs> so I just went with it, but... Let's do, let's do 15 blocks for five minutes, so three blocks a minute, right? It's pretty quick, it is pretty quick. That's that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So now the question is, can we set up bartering to handle this kind of gold input? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Oh my goodness. I don't know. That's a farm for another day, I guess. So that's the next the next step is a proper bartering farm over here. But um, dude, it's kind of ugly though. Hey, I'm I'm worried. It's very close to all the portals. What oh. we've done. Yeah, that is true, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Especially with us having the larger render distance, like, you can see everything. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm inspired to make it not ugly, though, to be honest. I don't know about you. I'm not Thoughts? feeling it. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. Um, Maybe we can get somebody to help us out with it? I don't... Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I highly doubt it, dude. Like, hi, Hermit, would you like to come and make our redstone farm pretty it's, yeah i don't think anyone's gonna say yes dude. i don't yeah there's gonna be no raised hands on that for sure <laughs> no no oh my goodness. anyway i mean it actually looks kind of awesome from here to be honest i don't know it looks it looks like a battery or something it's pretty cool it does have some kind of a menacing look to it i like it yeah nice dude i think we need a high five though Hold yeah on. high five uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice good job well done great. well done so I was just exploring the shopping district, just kind of looking at the different shops that have popped up, when all of a sudden I got stopped by XB and Beef. Half foods. Half foods. Half foods. What's yeah, the other half? We're both ha the two halves of the shop. Mm -hmm. Oh. His, his is natural and mine yes. is good. <laughs> Wait, his is natural, yours is good? Yeah, not, his, not is unnatural. The, his is healthy and mine tastes good. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, come on in. Look at this beautiful place. And check out all the sweet deals you can get here on, on, on groceries. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I, like, I like it. I like the decor. Very good. Good, good. Yeah. yeah. Don't mind huh? the fluorescent this lighting. This is a shopping it's cart? Cheaper. Oh, that's great. Yep, I like yep. it. Yep. Beautiful. Look at all the all the shelves of food. Now we haven't fully stocked yet because this is a yeah. it's just a brand opened. new store. Yeah, yeah, brand yeah. new store. Okay, cookies mm -hmm. a diamond at... per stack. Bread. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Good. Good. Uh huh. Uh huh. And did you notice? Oh, uncooked is cheaper than cooked. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. notice. So you, yeah. So if you want uncooked, you could save yourself half price. Oh, and you guys are passing the savings along to me. Is what's going on? That's I cook it exactly. myself. Yes. Great. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Very so cool. So go ahead and buy stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Well, no. uh, I don't see an ATM. ATM. Come on. It, uh, right here. ATMs. There's one at, one at the entrance but, and one at the exit. But, but found an ATM. Okay. Okay. We okay. get yes. you coming oh, and doing going. It. We're doing it. We're making the sale. We're watching a sale happen right now. It's, <laughs> it's, happening. it's happening. It's happening. Oh, this is exciting. I wonder what he'll pick. Oh, this this is the best part. I have no idea. This is creepy. I'm not, I kind of lost my appetite. <laughs> What's happening? We're, we're, uh, we're just, uh, just, uh, uh, just we're stocking, not here. stocking the shelves. Just, just yeah. stocking the shelves. Uh, stocking shelves. Things are happening. Nope. Okay. Okay. Things are happening. Mm -hmm. Don't mind us. Don't don't mind you. 
Oh, you have some dried kelp. That's kind of cool. Salmon. Uh -huh. uh, 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 raw salmon. Raw salmon cheaper than the cooked salmon. So I don't know. Maybe you want some salmon? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just looking. I'm. I'm looking. Okay. okay. Oh, uh, we should probably. Uh, uh, I'll stock uh, this see. chest over Watering here. this plant. <laughs> do, do, do. The, I see. There's golden carrots. We got anything special on this side over here? No. Nothing yet. Yeah. Nothing yet. No. Golden we're, carrots. We're getting there. Okay. Well, the carrots are, are a good choice, but a little more expensive than everything else in the store. All right, so let me ask you, gentlemen, what would you recommend? Mm -hmm. I, there's so many choices Ooh. here. I'm not actually sure what I should get. What, what would you golden recommend? Golden carrots, I think. Golden carrots? Uh, I would skip the golden. I would. Uh, you know what? Honestly, a stack for one diamond of raw chicken, great deal. Is it fresh? Like, I don't have to worry about oh, salmonella or any of that? This was from my farm. Or? This oh, was from my farm. Farm fresh. Yeah. Okay, right down okay. the road. Shelf. <laughs> so let me ask you, if this is farm fresh, this is like non-GMO, gluten-free, free range, all this kind of Correct. stuff? Correct. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Great. Yeah. The carrots, the golden carrots over there are definitely GMO. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. They got all the GMOs. <laughs> well, actually, I might want some GMOs. Okay. They're good for you. And I yeah. hear people like them. They're tasty, so maybe now, they are. Now, is it... Is it worth the price difference? Go check it out. Go oh, what, out what is this? What is the price? No, mm. this is this is where you have to make an informed decision Ooh, as a shopper. That's true. I don't. I don't see the price listed anymore. Uh, it's inside it's the chat. Yeah. Oh, it's on an apple. We should probably make it over here too. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Three yeah, yeah, three we'll diamonds. It. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See what I mean? I gotta get my GMOs though. I gotta get my GMOs. You just made two <laughs> sales. You just made two oh, sales. Oh, two sales. Nice. Yes. We are so good at this. Oh, fantastic. Amazing. Sir, the exit is on the other side. Oh, I can't exit this side. I got to go this side. Okay. You can't. No. Um, See, all yep. we got to do oh, is yeah, it's legal. drag people in and then hound them until they buy stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Absolutely. While we stock, quote unquote, stock shelves. Oh, oh we were stocking. <laughs> yeah, we There's were definitely, definitely stocking. Some stocking happening. Thanks for the, thanks for the purchase. You're, you're welcome. Come, Come back, back anytime. Yeah, I'll, I'll be tomorrow. right back. Tomorrow. Yeah, oh, tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. Yes. tomorrow. Yes. More food tomorrow. All right. <laughs> it's all fresh. All right. Bye. Bye. So, yeah, going over to the shopping district, just checking out the different shops and uh, checking out XB and Beef's shop there. It was kind of cool. Uh, it looks like Beef is selling things that he is producing from his farm, which is really nice to see. And XB, I think, is just producing the golden carrots. I'm not actually sure, but XB has you know, the permit to sell food. So he made himself a nice business partner, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, I have my own method of getting golden carrots. Uh, don't want to want to spoil it, but uh, I do want to support my local shops and businesses. So I will be providing diamonds every now and then to restock, which is great. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here for today. Yeah, we got a lot of different things going on. I made that, uh, was it the bamboo farm? We made the gold farm. We hung out with a bunch of different hermits. Really cool stuff. Anyway, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.